Hey everybody, welcome to Building Champion Worship. I'm Jimmy Fisher and I'm outside today and it may be a little hard to hear me, but I wanna talk about overcoming distractions in worship. We're gonna talk about four distractions that worship leaders need to overcome in order to effectively lead worship. The first one is fear. Now, one of the greatest weapons that the enemy uses against worship leaders is fear. Fear of failure, fear of rejection or criticism. But the Bible says in 1 John 4, 18, that there is no fear in love and that perfect love casts out fear. So as worship leaders, we can overcome fear by understanding God's love and we can trust Him that He loves us unconditionally and we can come before Him in His presence. Another distraction is past failures. Now all of us at one point or time have failed. And I'm not just talking about failure in leading worship. We failed in our finances, failed in our relationships, even failed in our relationship with God. And the enemy wants to keep us away from him by reminding us of the things that we have done. But when we understand what Paul says in Philippians, that this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. In Christ, we overcome our feel of failure because Jesus loves us and he died for our sins. So we can come boldly before the throne of grace and enter into the presence of God. Another distraction is routine. Sometimes we allow our hearts to be desensitized because of the number of times that we actually lead worship. Jesus talks to a group of leaders in Matthew chapter 15, and he says that they draw near to me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. And again in Revelation, he says you've lost your first love and you need to do your first works over again. So as worship leaders, we need to make sure that we are sensitive to the Spirit of God by reminding us that it's because of His love that we lead God's people. And our final distraction is popularity or notoriety. Now this one can be a little sensitive because sometimes we are encouraged by those who come to us and say, God bless you, brother and sister. Thank you for leading me into God's presence. And if we allow the enemy to pump us up with pride, we can be distracted from the actual fact that we are just broken vessels before God and He is the one that uses us for His glory. We don't want to be caught up in our abilities, but we want our availability before God to be used and to be seen. Romans chapter 12 verse 3 says, Do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but think of yourself soberly. So we can overcome the temptation of popularity by understanding who we are in Christ. We are also all sinners saved by grace. And it's because of that grace that we are allowed to lead His people. So once again, our topic has been overcoming distractions. And those are just four examples of distractions that worship leaders need to overcome in order to effectively lead God's people. Thanks again for watching. I'm Jimmy Fisher, and we'll see you next time on Building Champion Worship.